Yo, hello everyone, I'm Jack the Jack of Knaves, and welcome back to Jingle Hells. So, we have situated our food situation, kind of. I'm still, I've thrown a ton of eggs against the floor and still have not gotten a baby chicken, but fortunately for me, I found out that there's a chest up there, and in that chest there were some cow eggs. So I spawned a bunch of cows, I was able to get myself some food. Also, as you can see, I'm in the process of building my own forest, so I have infinite um, wood resources. I chopped down all the stone, so now I have a bunch of stone resources, and I just set up a little thing here. And we've got a bunch of uh, stuff growing. Um, so one order of business that I wanted to check out first, let me get my arrows. I'm just going to have the arrows on the bar for right now. Um, while looking around, I noticed that there's a chest in there, so I want to check that out. Um, this will just take a quick minute to figure out. Yeah, as you can see, there's a chest that's just kind of sitting there right in the middle. So let's get this ice pick out. This is an annoying pick, but we will deal. Whoops. Um, this ice actually is useful to us, I've since figured out, and we will take a look at in a minute. Because um, it turns out that there's actually, over in that spawn area, there are some vendors, too. So let's see what's in here. Ooh! A mystic gem. Um, so that's actually relevant, because we are about to look at the traders. And we can actually, we'll save it for later, and then we can check it out in a bit. Oops! I don't want to have you on the bar anymore. I actually don't want to have either of you on the bar. So if we come over here, we have three traders, and they all trade different things. The alchemist, I can get a power gem from him by trading a block of diamond and some redstone. I can use ice to get more of those slowness potions, so that's kind of nice. Um, I can use ice and coal to get antifreeze, which is that potion. I can use a mystic gem to get a potion of emergency, which teleports the user back, which I'm assuming teleports me here. I can trade a stack of wood for an ice pick, so I can always get more ice. So that's nice. Uh, the blacksmith, if I trade in lapis lazuli and ice, I can get this frozenium ingot. Um, and then with that, I can turn it in to make some good armor. Um, it makes you slow, it looks like, um, but gives you tons of knockback resistance. And protection too, and fire protection. Um, and then you can also make um, some... A weapon and a pick. And then the mage, if you trade in a mystic gem, you get a, a five of these shards, and the shards you trade in for books. That if you have an, uh, an anvil, I'm assuming you can put together. So we're going to deal with that later. Um, also, I did not check out the bestiary. Let's take a look at this. Bestiary part two. We'll smack this down, because we don't need it anymore. There we go, and check it out. Frozen Knight. Uh, skeleton. It's tanky and does a lot of damage, and it's weakness to and Frost. Uh, frozen Knights are fully equipped in Frozenium gear, and therefore they are not easy to deal with. Smite weapons are advised. Frozen Crawler. Ki cave Spiders. Um, frost Crawler Poison does not do any damage, but renders you immobilized. Not so dangerous on its own, but very dangerous with mixed with other mobs. Interesting. Ice Spirit. Zombie. It's invisible. Um, ice Spirits are hard to see, except for their icy heads. When attacked, all Ice Spirits immediately notice you, so don't get cornered. Oh. Oh, is it zombie, but I'm assuming it's pig zombie, maybe? So we'll see. Alright, let's deposit this gear, and I want to take some more looks around this area. Um, and I also want to go get our... Um, or not our, but I want to go get the, uh, wool. So, uh, let's do that quickly. I want to make, while we're here, another pick, um, because that would be a nice thing. There. Just as a backup, and then I smelted up a whole ton of coal here. One, two, three, four. Let's do this quickly. Oh, I'm out of wood. Okay, we'll deal with it later then. Okay. Alright, let's check out this first. I am curious what are these things doing here. 
Um, and then we can kind of light it up too, because there were some mobs um, showing up in places. Eh, I know your crafty ways. There we go. Let's do that. Open it up. Let's take a look what's inside. We get, ooh, a power to sharpness to, okay, board, or bow. Uh, ooh. Fire aspect three, sharpness, unbreaking, give a man a fire and help you warm for a day, light a man on fire and help you warm with those fires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you jokester. Um, and a ton of leather and some more slowness potions. Um, in here, there's charcoal. In here, ooh, frozenium. And there, there's nothing. Nah. Here, Rod of Ages. Is this a League reference? Yeah, 200, plus 200 max mana. You jerk. Uh, smite 5, looting 2, and breaking 10. And then a spot to... Ow. Fish. Alright. So that's that. Um, let's kill you. Ow. Okay, thank you for dying, finally. Um, in here, there is a thing. Because why wouldn't there be? Oh no, it's more than that. It's a super thing. Uh-huh. Well, 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 what do we have here? Don't... Fanchestic. Don't... Don't... Ah! I can get more air. Jerk. Man, this is taking forever to break. What the heck? All right, let's do this then. Um, a platform to. S Oops. Okay. This is a platform to stand on. And if we do that, then there. Okay. Good. I'm a dummy. There we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't have a shovel. Curiouser and curiouser. Um, what would be the best way to do this? Like this? Okay, I'm gonna speed up getting out of this hole. Okay, we're out of the dumb hole. Great. Alright, let's go back up here. And then we have one last area to check out, which is this. Uh, let's kill the zombie first. And let's, as always, be wary of traps, because, as we just saw, they exist in two separate um, versions. Take a look at this. Um, this does not fill me with happiness. Alright, let's break this. This is just somehow going to be trapped, and I'm going to feel like a fool. Uh-huh. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. I see a spawner. Check it out. Okay, it's a creeper spawner. Ow, I fell. That was not part of the program. There's a lot of creepers. Okay. This is not exactly how I wanted to spend my evening.
What gas? Okay. And last one. Okay. Well, considering how we are now out of torches, how about this? I will go back. I need to get some more torches. And then we will go get the blue wool. And then depending on where that leaves us, uh, we'll see what's left. Also, in this chest is... Ooh. Oh, one of the nice picks. Boom, 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 boom. Actually... We don't have to... Well, I still want to drop off everything. So, let's get out of here, because I heard a ghast. And that makes me El Nerveso. Yeah? Uh -huh. We're good. Okay. See, so yeah, I will put everything back, and then I will meet you as we investigate the blue will. Alright, so here we are going back along our merry way to get to the blue wool. Um, so this area should actually be pretty much cleared out. Um, the only thing we need to be cautious of is um, not much really. Enemies should have despawned. Um, I think there still were some um, of the super skelly spawners. Because I can't remember how, what they're actually called. Uh, let's light you on fire. Oh, geez, oh that's good. Um, let's just sweep around here. Um, and light up these spawners. Yeah, okay. So those are lit up, and then we'll make our way towards the spawner, but we're going to do it in a cautious manner, simply because... There are still a bunch of spawners around it, as you might be able to see. Alright, kill these. We actually want the bones right now, because the bones are our primary... Like, that's the limiting factor of us getting food at the moment. Alright, let's see if we can't swing around the back here to eliminate that spawner. And then you're going to be spawned... Um, but we'll back up. Thank you, actually, for helping us back up. Let's, from here, do some damage to him while we're still at a range. I really wish it wasn't taking every single one of my arrows to kill you. Where did you do things? Okay, we actually don't have a need for zombie spawners. So we can get rid of you. Wow, oh, inconvenient. Oh, I guess I don't need to go. Now, I'm curious if there's anything down there with... Ouch. The creeper spawner. And maybe that's something we can check out in a... Ow, stop it. Later. Oh, sorry. Ooh, a hat. Give me that. Yes, better hat. Maybe if we could also set up a uh, way to deal with the... Um, like a killing room for these guys? Maybe we could also benefit um, from them. Something else to consider. So maybe we'll set that up as our thing. We'll set up like a, a killing room for those people and then not worry about the normal skeleton spawners. Right, everyone, just back up for a second. I'm trying to think. Alright. Well, obviously, we're just going to be spawning more things the more we walk over here. So let's back up. We'll let them come to us. Um, kill them. And then we can retreat with the blue wool. Wow, you give me a lot of blue wool. Alright. One, two, three. Ouch. I'm not actually like super concerned because A projectile protection and B you're just normal skeletons. So Yay, blue wall. We will take one and that'll be that. Yeah. Okay, stop spawning. That works. 
It doesn't look like there's anything down there, so we don't have to worry about it. Alright, let's zip over down to the Victory Monument, and we can victorize our victory. What? Okay. Maybe skeletons spawn down there too? I don't know. I'm not the master of these things. Alright. Blue wool. Let's place it on the monument. Bum -ba -da bum -ba -ba -ba. Yay! Blue wool. Alright, we have green, red, and gold. Our next order of business, let's... <gasps> Did that happen? Because I placed it? Ooh! Or maybe I'm just crazy and didn't notice before. But that'd be cool if that was the thing. I am so shot with arrows right now. Alright. Um, for the last little bit of time here, we are A, going to deposit our collection of goodies over there and there. And let's check out the green wool. And I think green is going to be over there. Um, why? Uh, I don't know. It's just a hunch. Let's grab the rest of our steak. And where I'm actually going to have to do some farming in between episodes to make sure that we have enough food for next time. You know, I didn't actually check out all the areas. So maybe maybe we'll do that. Instead of green wool, let's check out the other two areas here. Uh, we'll check out here, which is full of candy canes. That's nice. That's that's great. Aha! That's what I was looking for. This is like, there's got to be somewhere... Don't make this be a trap. I'd be quite displeased with that. Ah, no, it's not. Cool, another one of those gems. Ice pick. Wow, a lot of antifreeze. And one of the cool chest plates. Now, if I... Let's think about this, actually, for a second. I'm wearing, on my personage, 5% and 5%, and this is 7%. So if I put this on, it'll just take me to normal speed. Hmm. Protection 2, fire protection 5. That sounds pretty good. Oh, because it's so cold, I get it. Ah, I get it. Alright, neat. So that's that. And then we'll check out the last area, which is the forest. Which is completely redundant, because I'm definitely, you know, I'm building my own. You know, I don't need your forest. I got my own forest right here. Gah. Who do you think you are? Um, let's jump over. Let's actually put the <laughs> the crystal away, because I don't want to lose it. These things give the appearance of being important. Hey, they stack. Very nice. Alright. Um, no, they don't. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Okay. I didn't need to put everything away. Anyway. It's so easy to get distracted by inventory management. Hi, Creeper. Yeah. All right, it's three hits. Yeah. Man, why are there more creepers? Yeah. 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 No. 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 Oh. Jerk. I'll fix this off camera. What a butt. That was completely unnecessary. And un called for. This forest makes me nervous. Okay. Alright. What is your true aim here? What is your goal with this? Ice. River. That's neat. You thought I was going to say cool. Ah! Is this just a nice resource? <laughs> No, there's got to be more to this. Doesn't there? Hmm. Well, oh, okay. Well, I guess that's that. Well, now we have a lit up f uh, forest resource. Let's look under the glass. Or under the... Aha! See? I knew it. Um, do I have... Ooh, nice. How convenient for us that I would have that on me. We get... Ooh, ah! Sword of Gryffindor. Wait, why? I'm just not going to question it. I'm getting the impression that...
that this map maker is a very nerdy individual, which I am fine with, because there is nothing wrong with being nerdy. Hi, hello, hi, go away, go away, go, stop it. There, thank you. I appreciate. Ah, you died. I am the true victor in this situation. All right, so it looks like that is that. We explored this area, we got some goodies, we fell for a trap, and we set many things on fire. Stop it. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did enjoy, please leave me a like, because it does help me out a ton. And, as always, stay tuned for more. <laughs>